Before we begin this tutorial, I would like to say that if you have a question about your TV repair, please comment below the video and we will respond with advice and a link to your replacement part. Be sure to include your TV brand and model number along with the symptoms your TV is showing. You can typically find your TV model number on the back of your TV. You can also send us a YouTube message with your TV repair questions as well. Before you begin your repair, be sure to unplug your TV from any power source and properly ground yourself. We have already removed the back cover of our TV, but you will want to remove all the screws connecting your back cover to your TV and then simply remove the back cover piece. Now we've already removed the cover for our TCON board right here, but this LED driver also has a cover. Here's what the TCON board cover looked like originally before we unscrewed it. So if you're doing any repairs to the backlight inverter slash LED driver or the TCON board, you will need to remove the covers for each of them before you replace the board. Removing the covers can be simply done by removing the screws that hold them to the panel. The TCON board actually takes the image and sends it to the panel, which makes it show up on your screen. You can see the TCON board is connected to the LED driver slash backlight inverter here and then connects to the panel via these cables here. Some common problems with the TCON board is that if you have no picture on your screen but your TV does have backlights and sound, that could be the TCON. Earlier we said it could be the main board, but the TCON could also be at fault if that is the symptom. You could also have colored vertical lines on your screen or half of the screen is missing the picture. Those would both be symptoms that could be a bad TCON board. Thank you for watching our LED repair video. Please remember that if you're having a problem with your TV and you want to ask us a question about that problem, please be sure to comment in the comment section below this video. We will respond with our thoughts on the symptom and the diagnosis and be able to recommend a replacement part for your TV repair. Please be sure to include the TV brand, the model number, and any symptoms that your TV is showing. This will allow us to better understand your problem and give you a better diagnosis. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comments section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button 